Hey there, I am back with an amazing video. If you're new to the channel, hi, I am Anas Riyad from UPDF and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to read your PDFs on your iPhone using UPDF for free. First, you can go on App Store and download the UPDF app or you can click on the link in the description and you can download it directly from there. Next, let's go on my iPhone and we can go directly to UPDF and you should see a screen like this on the home page, first time opening it. So you have two ways of opening a PDF. So you have the plus button at the bottom right, you click on it, then you click on files. And here you can choose a file from your iPhone and you can directly open it. Let's say I open this one, click on open, and here it is, it's directly open on my iPhone. There is another way. So if we go outside of the app, we go to files, and in files, for example, I go and I open let's say this PDF here and there is the button at the bottom that says open in UPDF. You click on it and it takes you to UPDF in less than a second, in a fraction of a second. So that's the two ways that you can open a PDF on UPDF for free, super fast and it works on your iPhone and all the other devices as well. So here if I go click on this bottom arrow at the top and I go into preferences you can see all the adjustments that you can make to read your PDF. So for example, if you use your finger or your pencil, depends on your device. If you prefer a single page or two pages, for example, let's see, I like two pages. I like to have a broader view of what's going on. So you can do it in here as well, like you could do on your MacBook, for example. And here again, you have, you can have scrolling enabled or disabled. You have the vertical, yes or no. You can zoom and all the adjustments, you can make them all in here. You can also adjust the colors, as you can see the theme, the initial mode, if you wanna comment on it, edit, and so many cool things that you can do directly on your PDF. So that's how you can read a PDF on your PDF. It's so easy. You can then go, if you wanna take any notes, if you wanna make any adjustments, go grab a pictures, make it bigger, make it smaller. You can do so many cool stuff with UPDF, but today I'm showing you how to open a PDF, and I hope this is helpful for you so far. If you can't open a PDF on your app phone, usually this is one of the reasons why. The first one can be that the PDF is locked via password. So you need a password to access your PDF. And that's usually if you're the owner of the PDF and you're the person that put the password in the first place, you should be able to put your own password and then unlock it. Or if someone else sent it to you, you can ask them to give you the password to unlock the PDF. So if the PDF is locked, when you go on your PDF, they'll prompt you to put in the password and as long as you can put it in there, you can access your PDF easily. Second thing why it might not be working is that the reader app that you're using is outdated. So this is where UPDF come into action and you can directly go to the App Store and you can type UPDF and you can find it in here, UPDF. You can download it if it's for the first time and it will take you directly to the app. Another reason could be that there is an issue with the iOS operating system. And one of the easy fixes is to basically just restart your iPhone. You just go, switch it off, switch it on again, and sometimes it does fix the issue. Or another fix is to open the PDF on another device. So you can just airdrop it from an iPhone to iPhone, or from an iPhone to a MacBook, or you can send it via WhatsApp, for example, and open it on another device. And finally, another reason is that the file might be corrupted. And if the PDF is corrupted, then obviously you'll find it difficult to open it. On your app and the fix here is quite simple you can go and re-download the PDF make sure that your internet is stable and the source from where you download the PDF is safe and if that doesn't work you can just ask the sender to resend the file to you and then you can simply open it again on your PDF and it should be working just fine that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and you learned how to open your PDFs using UPDF an amazing free tool that helps you do a bunch of things with your PDFs if you enjoyed it remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments or any things that you struggle with you can put them also in the comment sections and we'll make sure to make videos about it thank you for watching